This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how to create this very simple flat style battery icon using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So let me minimize that and we'll get started. The first thing we will do in Inkscape is make sure that our view is set to custom. And then we're going to zoom in at 100% by going to zoom, zoom in at 1 to 1. And then we'll open up our Align and Distribute menu with this button. Make sure you have Last Selected chosen from that drop-down. And then we'll open up our Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu with that button. So the first thing we're going to do is create an oval. So let's come over to the Circles and Ellipses tool. And then we can just click and drag on the canvas to create an oval about that shape and size. We'll go back to our Select tool. I'm going to take the opacity of this and drop this down about in half. And then I'm going to right click this and go to duplicate and hold control and click and drag this down to about there. And what I'm going to do next is let's go to our Bezier pen. You can click on it there or you just press B on the keyboard. That's another way to get the Bezier pen. And let's turn on our snap to paths. And we're going to snap the cursor onto the far left side of this oval and click and then hold control and bring this line straight up until it snaps to the left side of that oval and then click and while still holding control we're going to bring this line straight across until it snaps onto that edge and then click and still holding control bring this line straight down until it snaps onto there and then click and then we can let go of control and connect it to the starting point and we'll turn that red and we'll get rid of the black outline by holding shift and clicking on the X and then we could take the opacity of this and drop this down about in half. And then we could turn off our snap to paths because we, are, we don't need that for now. So let's go back to our select tool and let's click and drag over this entire graphic and right click it and go to duplicate and then unify it together by going to path union and we'll turn that blue and we'll come up here to where it says lower selection to the bottom. We'll click on that and we're going to give this a blue outline, otherwise known as a stroke. So we're going to hold shift in the keyboard and click on the color of blue down here to give that a blue outline. And that's called a stroke. So we'll come over to the stroke style tab and make sure you have join. You want a rounded join and a rounded cap. And the width, the stroke width, we want this to be a little thicker than that. So I'm going to try, actually a lot thicker than that. I'm going to try 50 and see how that looks. Okay, that's pretty good. You want it to be about that much thicker than the rest of the graphic. So once you have it set at a good thickness, well, let's convert that to a path by going to st path, stroke to path, and then we'll go to path, break apart, and then path, union. And what we could do now is let's click on this black oval down here and then hold shift and click on this red rectangle and let's unify them together by going to path union and then we'll click on this black oval up top we'll right click that and go to duplicate and then we could hold shift in the keyboard and click on the black shape beneath it and go to path difference and with that selected let's go to our edit paths by nodes tool and let's click and drag over those top three nodes right there so we have all three of them selected and then hold control on the keyboard and just click and drag one of these nodes and bring this down to about here. And then we go back to our select tool. Let's right click that and go to duplicate and turn that red. And then we'll right click it and duplicate it again and turn it green. And then I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and just click and drag this green copy up about that much and then hold shift and click on the red copy beneath it and go to path difference and then I'm going to hold control and I'm going to move this red object up to about here and then I'll right click that go to duplicate hold control click and drag this up to about here and I'll do that one more time I'll right click that go to duplicate hold control click and drag that up to about there and what I'll do now is I'll hold shift and I'll click on those other two red objects so we have them all selected. And we're going to make sure they're spaced out evenly by coming down here to the distribute panel uh, to, the, to the icon that says make vertical gaps between objects equal. We'll click on that and then we'll unify them together by going to path union. And then hold shift in the keyboard and click on the black object beneath it. 
and let's make sure that's centered on the horizontal axis and then click off of the graphic to deselect everything. So what we'll do next is we'll, we'll grab our, uh, our rectangles tool and let's just click and drag and create a rectangle going over those red stripes about that much. Let's get rid of that blue outline by holding shift and clicking on the X. And then we can go to our select tool. I want to position this rectangle so that there's just this part of the red shape sticking out right there. And so that the right side of the rectangle is completely covering the whole thing. And then I'll hold shift in the keyboard and click on those red objects and go to path difference. And then hold shift, click on the black shape and go to path difference. And then we can take this blue object up, up here in the background. We can right click that and go to duplicate and we'll turn that red and I'll hold control and just click and drag this up to about here so it's going into that oval a little bit and then I'll hold control on the keyboard and just click and drag this top arrow down to scale this thing down maybe I'll bring this down a little more and we don't we don't need that to be that tall so let's go to the edit pads by nodes tool and let's click and drag all of these nodes up top and then hold control and just click and drag one of these top ones down to bring this down about that much. And this is going to be the positive end of the battery right here. And we'll go back to our select tool. I'm actually going to move this up a little bit like that. And then I'm going to right click this and go to duplicate. And hold shift and click on the oval in the background and go to path difference. And then I'll click on our red shape right here. Hold shift, click on the blue shape and go to path union. And then I'll click on this shape, hold shift, click on that shape, and go to path, union, and then hold shift and click on the blue graphic in the background and go to path, difference. And then we can bring the opacity all the way up and you can make that whichever color you'd like. And that is pretty much it. We have now created a very simple battery icon using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.